in 2019, a very shocking and concerning survey came out showing that only one-third of Catholics in the United States believe that at Mass, Jesus actually shows up when a priest prays the words of consecration over bread and wine. And so in 2019, Father Meyer and I co-authored an article together about 26 things that we can be doing in the Catholic Church right now to draw attention to the fact that Jesus actually shows up at every Mass. At the same time, the U.S. bishops huddled together, deeply concerned, and what came out of that meeting was this three-year Eucharistic revival. And so Father Meyer and I, along with about 50 other priests throughout the country, were asked by the U.S. bishops to become national Eucharistic preachers, I declined because I was going through chemo uh, therapy at the time, but Father Meyer accepted that request. And, and so he's been traveling all over the country for the last several years preaching about Jesus' real presence in the Eucharist. Thanks be to God that a recent survey has shown that the numbers have actually flipped. Now two-thirds of U.S. Catholics believe in Jesus' real presence here at the Mass and Jesus' real presence in the Eucharist. So that's a great, a great number, a great reversal. The, the bishop's plan is working. And uh, again, we have another third uh, of Catholics to still go. And in addition, all the other people in our community who do not yet believe that Jesus is really present here in the Catholic Church. So that's, that's what we're, we're trying to work on, uh, continuing and moving forward. What we hear in the conclusion today of John chapter 6, which I mentioned in, at, before in the announcements of Mass, is the most important chapter in the Bible for us as Catholics. And I'd just like to go through why we believe what happens in John chapter 6. So there's nine different times in the second half of the sixth chapter of John where Jesus says, I am the bread of life. You must eat me. And so I'd just like to go through these. In verse 35 of John chapter 6, he says, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. In verse 45, he says the same thing again. I am the bread of life. Verse 51, I am the living bread. If anyone eats this bread, they will live forever. The fourth, also verse 51, the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Verse 53, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man, you have no life in you. Verse 54, he who eats my flesh has eternal life. Verse 55, he who eats my flesh abides in me. Of getting verse 55, he who eats me will live. And finally, verse 58, he who eats this bread will live forever. Those are nine different times in John chapter 6, the second half of John chapter 6, where Jesus says very directly, you must consume my flesh if you want to have eternal life. There are 33,000 denominations of Christians in the United States who do not believe what we believe happens. And again, there's a lot of opportunities that we have to work together with these. If we're willing their good, if we're working for their good, then at the end of the day, we need to be taking this good news out and inviting all of those who do not yet believe that what happens here is Jesus shows up. Jesus is present in our tabernacle right now at Mass. Every time the priest prays the words of consecration, no matter what state he's in of sin, Jesus says, I will be there. Out of love for all of those who do not yet believe, Maybe they're fallen away Catholics in our family or our community. Maybe they're not even, they don't believe, they think we're heretics maybe. They're, they're non-Catholic Christians. And again, at the end of the day, we have to make a decision. If Jesus isn't really here, then we should leave this place immediately because we are heretics at the end of the day. If we don't, if, if Jesus is, doesn't actually show up here at Mass, then we are heretics. But again, I think we, what we have is this good news that Jesus is really present. And so again, what ha I'd just like to talk a little bit about these rebuttals that are, these 33,000 denominations say against our belief that Jesus is really present here in the Eucharist. And one of the things that they say is that Jesus says other things in John's Gospel that he is, but none of those are, are seriously, he doesn't mean any of those other things seriously. So they say... Jesus says in elsewhere in John, Schick, John chapter 6, I am the light of the world, I am the good shepherd, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the vine. But he doesn't mean any of those seriously. And it, one of the Catholic responses to that is, 
Well, he doesn't say, I am the good shepherd nine different times. He doesn't say, I am the light of the world nine different times. He doesn't say, I am the vine nine different times. But the other major rebuttal to these 33,000 Christian denominations who do not believe that we, what we think about the Eucharist is true is that when Jesus says, I am the good shepherd, no one leaves. No one stops following Jesus. When Jesus says, I am the light of the world, no one leaves. No one stops following Jesus. But when he says, I am the bread of life, you must eat me if you want to have eternal life. It says in today's gospel, many people stop following Jesus. And if you're Jesus, and you only mean I am the bread of life metaphorically, if you only mean it's a symbol, then you would say, because he loves everyone, he loves every one of us more than we could ever fathom. You, he would say to those people as he sees them leaving, hey, come back. I just meant it symbolically. But he doesn't. In fact, not only does he not say come back, I meant it metaphorically, he turns to his apostles and says, do you also want to leave? Do you also want to leave? That is Jesus definitively saying, this is true. This is a hard saying. He knows that he's asking people to eat his flesh and drink his blood, but he doesn't waver in any way. In fact, again, he turns to his apostles and says, do you also want to leave? That is the same question that he asks each of us today, and hopefully we stay with joy just like St. Peter says in today's Gospel, Lord, where else would we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. May we say back to Jesus with joy, with love, Lord, where else would we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. May we take that good news out to the streets. We're compelled out of love to invite everyone here there are Catholics all over the world being put to death today because of their belief that Jesus is really present in the Catholic Church. There are Catholics being persecuted today. There are Catholics being thrown in jail today. There are Catholics being tortured today all over the world because they believe that Jesus is really truly present in the Catholic Church, in the Eucharist. May we have that same zeal no matter what the consequences might be. We might be tortured. We might be made fun of, which is probably even worse for us and inspires more fear maybe for a high school student or a grade school student or a college student. Everything, in your, everything probably in your life is saying, don't say that out loud. Do not say that Jesus is really present in the Eucharist out loud. Don't invite anyone. Don't do anything that would ever draw any attention to yourself. But we are called to love everyone in the world. We're called to invite, to will their good, which means to invite them into the Catholic Church. May we do that with joy and with peace and with love.